y'all Irix guy here and within this video I'm going to assemble the what do they call it the relife rebuild your life dumbbell bench step by step and I'm going to preface this with I had uh, you know I got these Bowflex select tech dumbbells so I can work out at home during the pandemic these are great and I'd also ordered the uh, the Bowflex bench but because of the pandemic and the heightened demand for all of this equipment, it was going to be multiple weeks. So I started digging for uh, alternatives, and I found a bunch of benches that looked like they would probably be junk. And then I found this one, and I will tell you, out of the box, this build quality is very nice. So. What I want to do is to help you because I couldn't find a step-by-step -step assembly video for this particular bench. And by the way, expand this video's description and then click the link there to find where to order this bench online. But we're going to go through step-by-step -step and install it. Now, what I would highly encourage everyone to do is unbox the bench, and it was, it was very well packaged, but unbox it in a separate room, keep everything in case you inadvertently left a screw or a bolt or whatever, keep everything in that box, even if you think you've gotten everything out until after you assemble it. So that's what I've got. I've gotten all the parts out right here. I've got the assembly manual. I've never assembled this before. We're gonna go through it step by step. So I did appreciate how they had this and everything was kind of shrink wrapped to a piece of paper. And then they've got this other bag that says spare parts. So, you know, that's, that's good, that, good that everything's labeled. So let's just get into this. Um, okay, so it's got a parts list. I'm, I'm just gonna start assembling. I'm not gonna, I mean, I guess I should inventory everything, but no, I don't wanna do that. Okay, so step one is attach mainframe to front tube and rear tube. So the front tube is a shorter piece. Or well, let me let me double check. The shorter piece goes by this bracket. So it's going to go here. I'm a visual person, so bear with me. And then this one, the longer piece, goes the far end from that. So that's going to go there. So this is more of a visual for y'all. So the front and the rear are both going to use 17 bolts, number part number 17, 24 uh, nuts, and 21 washers. So this is all labeled, which is nice. So I'm going to get part number 17, which are these bolts. I'm going to get four of those. And I would recommend you punch these out as you need them. So one, two, three, and four. Now I'm doing this carefully so I don't pull anything from the other section. Okay, so I've got these four bolts. Two are going to go at this end. Two are going to go at this end. The next thing is a quantity of four, part number 21. Again, this is a real world assembly video, so I'm not going to embellish anything. This is just real world here. So let's see. There's some other pieces that kind of slid into the picture here, so I'm going to make sure I get only what I'm supposed to get for this.
Ah, there it is. It was under the thing. I was, I was thinking I was missing one. So I've got one, two. Two of these go on this end. Just make sure those, yep, that's the right one. So two of those nuts, two of those bolts, two of these nuts, and then these are the washers. Make sure they fit. There's four of them. So two on this end and two on that end. So, okay, so all that was in there. That's good. Now, what we will do is take these tools out. So see there's, there's tools in here too, so I'm going to pop them out. That's pretty nice they included that because I know a lot of people don't have tools nowadays. I was making sure I hit record. I thought I'd forgotten. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to find these. The one that, that fits the... Okay, so it's this one. It's the number 17. So really all we're going to do... Let me double check. So the bolts come in from the bottom. So you're going to, you're going to take a bolt. Whoa! You're going to take a bolt here and push this back to make sure you always see it on camera. Take a bolt from the bottom, stick in there. And then the other bolt from the bottom, stick in here. Okay, so that's on there. Those are both in. Now you're going to rest your piece on top of that. So this is going to go down over that with the bolts exposed. You will put your washer on each side. And then you'll, what I will do is hand tighten the nut just to get it started. And then the same with the other side. You know, just hand tighten your nut. I never like to tighten these up all the way until I've got, well, this, this shouldn't matter because that's a separate piece, but... Uh, Yes, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and tighten it. So just get your. It's pretty simple. I mean, just tighten. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm very impressed with the build quality of the pieces because when I was researching the bench, you know, I, originally I was going to go with the with the Bowflex bench, but, you know, because of the delay with delivery, I had to find another option, and I'm glad I found this one. And again, this is just the assembly video, but I'm going to do a lot of review videos as I begin using this bench. But, I mean, a bench is pretty much a bench. I mean, it's something that you use to do your dumbbell workouts. And, you know, with that being the case, you want something that's sturdy. I mean, you don't want something that's going to break and injure you. So, you know, that was a problem. A lot of the ones that I had found, the, the reviews were horrible. They were just saying that the benches were wob wobbly and unsafe. And, you know, that's something I didn't see when it came to reviews for this. So I'm hoping I got a good one. Again, I want to make sure this is tight. You don't want to over tighten and bend the metal. But, you don't want this wobbling around. And these tools that came with it, these aren't bad quality. I mean, they're, you know, sometimes you get those tools to assemble stuff and they're just really flimsy. These feel good. And obviously, it goes without saying, I'm doing a one-person assembly of this. So it'll be interesting if we run into any parts where more than one person would be required. And that's the other thing. When you get this, if you order one of these, and again, expand this video's description, and then click the link there to find where to order it online. But if you order one, do like I did. You know, open it up outside or beside your front door and just carry piece by piece. 
to wherever you're going to assemble it and use it. Makes it a lot easier. I think that's good for that. Now we're going to do the other end. Again, the same type of bolt. The same type of, um, you know, just to reiterate, this is the shorter piece. And to see where it goes, it goes closest to this little bracket piece in. So don't flip flop your uh, don't flip flop your short and long. So again, just like the other one, we stick this through, the bolt through. We stick this bolt through. And then after those bolts are through, we rest this on top of this. Now we put our washer on. And I've got another washer in here. Oh, there it is. It was underneath this. So, yeah. Uh, so washer here, washer here, and then your nut. Put your nut on. Thumb tighten it. Finger tighten it. Whatever you want to call it. Do the same with this one. Then tighten with your wrench. Yeah, so far so good. I mean, I'm again. I, I don't want to seem overly optimistic, but I mean, this build quality man is solid. And I'm a big dude, you know. I'm six two, weigh about two twenty. When I start lifting weights, man, I stick stick right around. You know, I I, I range between. 198 on the low end up to about 228. So, you know, having something that'll support me. And the other thing that I was very careful about, I'm 6'2, so I wanted something that would be long enough. And, you know, hopefully once we get this assembled, we'll be doing a, you know, after this assembly video, I will immediately film a first impressions video. And that video will include me on the bench and, you know, give you a visual of how well or how poorly this accommodates someone at the height of six foot two that uh, um, you know the weight is around 220 at the time of posting this again my weight fluctuates a lot um, you know because of the pandemic I haven't been in a proper gym since March of 2020 and it's almost September of 2020 so I mean I'm you know, I'm in critical stage right now with, with getting this quality home workout equipment put together. So, yeah, I mean, this is, yeah, so far, man, I'm, I'm impressed. And I'm just making sure I tighten, I don't want to over tighten these, but I want to make them tight enough to where, you know, I'm not going to have any wobble or anything. This, this is sturdy, man. And these rubbery type feet that come with this, they were already attached. That was nice. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm liking this. And the truth is, any almost anything you order from big name brand, um, you know, workout company is probably probably going to be made in China, just like this. I think this was made in China. Okay, attached back cushion tube number four. Let's see. Okay, so this. This is number four. This is back cushion tube and seat cushion tube five. Okay, so these are the seat cushion tubes. There's two of these actually. Okay, and these are going to use yeah that's, that's where it's going to get interesting that's why I'm doing this assembly video man okay so let me get so we got this back piece and we got these two pieces then we're also going to have this piece the 
They're throwing a lot of front steps in the same time here. Okay, it's part number 15. Okay, here's part 15. This will go closest to me. But there's also a part number 14 that's going to go through this one. So these are all labeled in the diagram here. 14 is the longer one. So 14 is going to go, I'm just going to rest it there because that's pretty much where it's going to go. And then Actually, this was part number 16 in my hand. 16 is going to go way back here, so I'm going to put it down there. So there's 16. Again, look at your diagram. Part number 15 is... Okay, so it's 15, 14, and then 16. Okay. And just lay them out in the order of the diagram. 15 closest to me, then your 14, then your 16. Those would be easy to mix up. And you're going to notice there's a hole on the side of this piece, the hole on the side, this part right here, not at the end, but kind of towards the middle part, that is where number 15 bolt is going to go through. And this end hole is where number 14 is going to go through. So I think for simplicity's sake, let's make sure that, again, your holes are facing the outside. This end one is the one that's going to go through here with bolt 14. So bolt 14 is this one. So let's start with this, with bolt 14, and this should make everything make more sense. Admittedly, the instructions are easy to follow but they're somewhat confusing as well. So, so we put this here, the washer, that goes through there. On the other side, and let's make sure, so we've got this hole facing up, which is how it tells us to do it. On the other side, we're gonna to wanna to do the same thing with the other piece. So, again, just as a visual, hole, hole. And then on this other side, we're going to put a washer and then the nut. And again, I'm not going to overly tighten this yet because I want to make sure all this lines up. So that's bolt number 14. Now, bolt number 15, this piece, this red piece is going to come into play. Bolt number 15 is going to pass through this top hole in the red piece. So bolt number 15 is right here. That's nice. They had the, the nut and the two washers on it. So grab one washer, put on bolt number 15. This, bolt number 15 with a washer on the outside, is going to go through here like this. But I, I, I did that too soon. This 
is going to go in the middle of here. So your bolt is going to go through that side hole on one of these. Then it's going to go through this top hole on this. See? And then on the other side, it's going to go through the side hole on that. See? So now we've got these connected. The one thing we don't have is the... Uh, That seems awfully short. Let me double check. Let me make sure these didn't flip flop in the in the case. No, they didn't. And this one definitely wouldn't be it because it's too fat to go through this. So, this is correct. I think I've just got to, I think I'm going to have to tighten this top one first. So, we're going to go ahead and tighten it to bring these things more together. Let's see. See, I've got to tighten this a little bit to bring everything together here. Actually, I just called a mistake I made. Let me take this off. The washer needs to go on the out, so I, I messed I messed this up. So see this washer needs to go on the outside of this. So put your washer on, then stick this through, and then. And then stick that on and stick your washer on and then your nut. There we go. That's better. So that's got that. Okay, so now we're going to tighten this. Thing is, this is just so, seems like it's short. Well, I guess it just kind of, it, yeah, it's got to squeeze together a little bit, I guess. So, just kind of be prepared for that. It's going to seem like that, that short. But see, this is the largest, this is the largest bolt that would go through that because this other bolt's fat. So it, it goes through, it couldn't fit through this. So this has to be the right one. So again, I got my washer right there on the outside. And then I stick this through.
Yeah, I mean, there's just hardly anything for it to grab onto, though, on the outside. Let me double check, make sure. No. Maybe I need to take take this washer out. And do it without. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna have to do because I mean, there's not much. Huh? That's kind of weird. It's actually very weird. Oh, and I forgot a piece on this. That's why I didn't. So let's do this. Let's, let's backtrack. This is admittedly confusing, and that's why I'm posting this video. So let's backtrack. Let's undo this. We're going to have to put another piece in here. So let's undo this one. Because this piece... This black piece is going to have to go here. See, that has to go through there. So again, just another reason to not Tighten your stuff too much until until you're confident everything's where it should be. And so see now that goes there, and I'm just going to put this on loosely. there and then it says the number 16 we've got over there we'll go with this now, I don't know if it matters but it shows this piece been on this this angle piece been on this side So see, that went through there. And the only thing I'm unsure about is this piece. If I know that middle bolt's got to go where it goes, but I wonder if 
if this one might no because see it's not any longer so we're gonna have to figure out what's going on down there we'll figure that out let's put this back in because i know this is where this goes now okay so that's back in we're going to tighten loosely again washer on the outside washer on the outside here and then the bolt the nut whatever you call it I'm just going to kind of hand tighten that. So now, this, and again, this was kind of confusing, but now it looks like we've got everything where it needs to go. So let's tighten our middle part here. Now I think that'll let us tighten this one right here more. This push pin thing right here is number 13. See, it goes through here and sets your seat height. So that's how you adjust your seat. Yeah, so all of this is correct. See, if then I wanted the seat flat, I'd put it in this position. So that works. It's just this middle bolt here, I mean this frontmost bolt, just seems kind of short, so I guess I gotta tighten this some more. It's going in now. Yeah, I just couldn't use the washers on it. It was the bolt was short and it didn't like using the washers on it. But I mean it's it's going
Yeah, it's on there. Now we're going to tighten these other bolts. Yeah, and see this works as expected. You've got your bench. This is very sturdy. Just for good measure, going to triple check everything here. So I don't plan to tighten this after initial assembly. And that was something that I, that I did read in a few of the reviews I was able to find. Because again, this I assume this may be a newer brand of bench. So there's not a lot of reviews. But they were saying, yeah, make sure everything's tight. Okay, so now we're going to go to step three. These are bolts eighteen. Again, bolts 18, number 18. And then those washers. Okay, so. Okay, 18s or for the seat, so these are these. These are number 18, I'm gonna put them over here. Because it's saying use 19s for the seat back. So 19s are these. So we're gonna put 19s here. We're gonna do the, we're gonna follow the order that it says and we're gonna do the 19s first. So these are the 19s and I've got my four washers. No missing parts so far. So we're going to put the seat back on. That's easy to identify. It says, re-life, rebuild your life. It's got four holes. So, and the washer is going to go on this bottom side. So we'll put our washer on. That's nice and threaded on the seat back. So start it with your fingers. And then repeat that for all four. So just finger tighten and then do the same with these next two holes. And 
you want to finger tighten to make sure you've got them all lined up first before you tighten one and then have to undo it. Okay, so now they're all finger tightened. I'm going to get the wrench. You may want to push down on the back on the backrest just to make this press tightly against it. You don't want to over tighten this and crack your backrest. Okay, so that's good and sturdy and that backrest does not move around, so that's, that's nice. Okay, so that's got that. And now, we're going to do, I think, the seat. And yeah, it's going to be the same type of concept, except we're going to use these washers here. Again, put your washer on. Put the seat on. Line everything up. In fact, once you get the first one started, you can probably just feel your way around here. There is a gap there that's worth mentioning. Uh, when I do my review video, it'll be interesting to know, uh, to figure out if that gap creates problems while lifting weights or if it's fine. But that's, that's supposed to be there. Again, just kind of feel your way around. And 
Okay, so now we're going to do number 404. You know what, this might be easier to temporarily flip this over on the side here. good and sturdy. That is good and sturdy. Now, we're going to go to our next step, which is, let's see, that didn't break. <laughs> okay, so now we use this final piece, which is right here, and then these pieces go onto this. This is a good quality piece as well, by the way. 
and then this attaches uh, It's got an angle, it's either up, I think it's going to be up, like that, let's see. So you've got options there, you can, yeah, you can go bottom most, it's got several different holes. And then you just screw this on, this thumb tightener. So if you were a different height, you could, you could raise this. I put it in the lowest position, but... Okay. I think that may be it. Now let me see. Let's just do a test here. So if I was doing sit-ups, yeah, this this probably probably would not be your best option as a sit-up bench. Just just calling that out. So if you thought that those that that bottom piece was going to enable you to do sit-ups, you're probably going to be disappointed with that. But as far as uh, as far as everything else, this is assembled. The build quality is nice. Again, this is just the assembly video, so subscribe to my channel and check my playlist to find my initial impressions review and my other videos of this bench. I just wanted to show you how it, how it was to assemble. No editing. This was a real experience, but I'm satisfied with the outcome. And it is worth mentioning, if you didn't want that little foot or calf piece or whatever you call it on there, it comes off with a thumb screw. So that, that could be optionally attached. But as far as everything else is concerned, check out my initial impressions video for that. This was just the assembly. It assembled, did run into a few pain points. I'm going to bring the camera over here and show you exactly what I was talking about with that screw that seemed to be a little bit short. So I'm going to take the camera off the tripod. And that was, let's see, that one right there, see? And see, I got it in. It's in, I just don't have a washer on it. So, yeah, that was the only semi-frustrating uh, minor pain point. So I'm happy. You know what's funny? <laughs> it matches the Bowflex Select Tech weights that I'm going to use with it. It says re, re life Rebuild your life! Life! Re-life! Expand this video's description and then click the link there to find where to order this online. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, Captain Irix Guy here. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe. It's youtube.com forward slash Irix Guy. And ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day.